Hey, friend, Chris here from MyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Today, I want to show you how you yourself can create your own take folders from different takes on different track lanes very easily. So not just recording over and over to the same track lane and having Logic just compile all these different takes for you, but like in this case here, I have seven different takes of a guitar performance, and now I want to combine these into a single folder for quick swipe comping. It's so simple, and I'll show you that today. Additionally, going in the opposite direction, how do you take the different takes inside a take folder and expand them out to their own individual track lanes or track alternatives? And there's so much more versatility when it comes to take folders. I wanna show you all of that today. Now, before we begin, let's take a trip over to Logic Pro, Preferences, and Advanced. And we wanna make sure on your system that you have all the complete features enabled. So if we disable this, we're going to be in a simplified mode of Logic Pro, and you're not going to have access to some of the things that I'm going to show you today. So let's just enable that. And in your version of Logic, it might look a little different. Just enable all of those features. Cool. We have a riff here. It's heavy. It's dirgy. It's an old riff that I just recorded real quick. Let's take a listen. We're going to mostly focus on this guitar right here on the right hand side. Cool. And again, it's this guitar right here. Awesome. So let's just take all these tracks here. Let's power them down, holding option, hitting the power button to offload the power of these plugins off the CPU and everything else. And I'm going to use control H to hide all those tracks. All right. So we have these individual tracks of this guitar and we can solo between them. Cool. And in fact, let's go to the mixer here and let's just set everything to the center. Awesome. So at this point, we have all these different takes and we want them all to be in the same take folder. We've recorded to different track lanes, maybe because it's easier to just hit record once and not have to worry about punching in and out. But now we want to compile these into a take folder so we can you know, quick swipe comp and choose the best bits from each take. So if you select each of the individual regions and it doesn't matter on um, which track lane you know they exist on if you then right click or hold control and click on one of the highlighted regions we can go down to folder and pack take folder sweet so now we have a take folder right here of just those three takes and if we open it up boom there they are let me backtrack here and let's select everything now and do the same thing. So right click, hold control and click, go down to folder and go to pack take folder. Awesome. So now we have a take folder with all these different takes and we no longer need these track lanes, right? Let's just get rid of them. Awesome. At this point, you could easily, you know, just make a quick selection using the quick swipe comping tool and boom, now we have our comp that we're very proud of, that we love, right? At this point, how do you now go in the opposite direction? And that's why I wanted to make sure you had the complete features enabled because right here, there's a menu. And if we click on that A or maybe it's a number for you, it's either a letter or a number. The letters are for comps. The numbers are for individual takes. So obviously we can flip between the different takes very easily. You know, so take seven, take six, or we can make a comp selection and then go right in here and we can duplicate the comp, right? So now we can flip between different comps and we can, you know, make adjustments to each individual comp. That is something I overlooked for so long. That's so awesome. But at this point, maybe you're very happy with your comp or your take and you want to, you know, export it to its own dedicated track lane. You can do that. Cool. So I've selected take seven and maybe we're very proud of take seven and we really want it to have its own dedicated track lane, but you don't want to move it out of the folder you know, entirely because you can do both. We want to give take seven its own track lane very easily. We just click on that number or letter from the drop down menu. You can go down to export active take to new track. Cool. So we still have takes one through seven in that take folder, but we now have take seven on its own dedicated track lane. Really helpful. You can do the same with comps. So if we just make some selections using the quick swipe comping. And then you can just go down to export the active comp to a new track. Perfect. 
Beyond that, maybe you want to, you know, explode all the takes into their own individual track lanes, not just that one take or that one, you know, comp, but everything. And in fact, we're going to make some comp selections, quick swipe selections, so that when we go to this menu, which is now comp D, if we go to unpack, we have three different options. You can unpack, which just unpacks everything. You can unpack to new tracks. So boom, now we have all these comps. So we have comps A, B, C, and D. We also have the individual takes on their own dedicated track lanes. So you can see here, we have these composite takes based on the seven takes that were in that folder. And they're all on their individual track lanes. We can also, if we back things up a bit, we can unpack these to new track alternatives. And that's really helpful. You know, if you don't want a whole lot of clutter in your sessions, boom, instead, you can just go right here next to the letter in the track header and just select show and hide inactive. And if you don't see track alternatives in the version of Logic that you're working with, just hold option and press key command T and you'll have the track header options available to you now in the pop-up menu and track alternatives can be enabled or disabled right here. Awesome. So now you can pick and choose between your track alternatives and then just hide the inactive alternatives. Boom. So now there's no clutter in your session. You can easily, you know, swap between them. Just a different style of comping and playing with takes in Logic Pro. Again, if we back things up, just using Command Z to undo. The other option you have available to you is to move a take or a comp completely outside of the take folder. And you can just go right down here to move active comp. So in this case, we've made some selections using the quick swipe comping tool. And if we move this active comp to a new track, boom, now those bits have been removed from the take folder. That comp has been removed from the take folder. Let me just undo so we can see that. Cool. Yeah, so now we've moved all of those contents outside of the take folder. And then we could treat that comp as its own, you know, separate track. Or you can do the same for takes. So if we make a take selection like that, we can do the same thing. Go to move active comp. Still says comp. So let me just select a take. Make sure we're working with what I think we're working with. We can move the active take to a new track. So boom, now take seven is outside of the take folder again. And the last thing I want to show you is how you can easily kind of flatten an entire take folder. If you just are done with the take folder, you don't need it and you feel comfortable, you're, you're feeling pretty confident that you're never going to want to refer to it again, which I don't know if I ever feel that confident. But if we go to that menu once more, you can go down to flatten the take folder. So watch this. So we have this comp that we've made from take seven, take one, back and forth. We go to flatten. Now the take folder is gone and we just have the comp. But of course, if we, you know, dragged some of these regions down and dragged the left or right edge, we still have everything that was within that take. You know, it's just hidden. And of course, you could do the same with takes. The other thing you want to take note of is flatten and merge where logic literally bounces the take folder in place, the comp in place, and the take folder is replaced by this bounce. There it is. So there's so much versatility when it comes to take folders. You can easily, you know, compile them, expand them, and work in many different directions to track alternatives and back even, you know, as well, if we explode these out to their own track alternatives, right? And if we go to show an active, we can just make that selection, right click, go down to folder and pack take folder. There you have it. You have so much versatility at your disposal when it comes to managing your takes. And I'll link to some of the other videos where I cover track alternatives and the basic idea of take folders and how easy it is and how awesome it is. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, as always, I highly recommend subscribing to the YouTube channel, YLogic Pro Rules, or subscribing on the website itself, YLogicProRules.com. Every week I'm posting new videos, new emails, and posts to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Thanks so much.